having a party. What? We're having a party. It's an intuitive party and we're gonna have us some fun. Yes, I'm in a good mood. Feeling high vibration. Really wanna be here spending time with you. And today is Wednesday and we are doing our three card oracle card reading. Say that three times fast. Three card oracle card reading. That's what we're going to be doing together and I'm here for it. Now I got some questions on one of my oracle readings the other week saying, why don't you just teach me a meditation technique? I don't, I, I don't know what the cards are. I can't see them. How am I supposed to know? Well, people, this is a psychic game. <laughs> First of all, this, the cards that have been selected, I select with spirit. Like I look at these cards. I run my hands over these cards. Spirit prompts me to three cards to pull just for you because spirit has a message for you. So these are powerful cards. But if you don't participate, if you just dismiss it out of hand because Crystal's not talking about meditation or Crystal's not talking about Neville Goddard or Crystal's not talking about whatever, if you just dismiss it, well, then you're not going to receive the messages. Now, what we want to do is we want to connect with these cards. And yeah, you're not going to see what the cards mean because then the natural inclination is for you to pick the card that you want the most. Well, that's not what we want to do. We actually want to give spirit the space to talk to us and give us the message that we need. And sometimes the message that we need is not the message that we want, but that's okay. Because if we need it, we ought to be able to receive it. So let all the preconceived notions go and just be with me in this exercise. Be with me in this game. It's fun. Let's have some fun. Now, before going into this Oracle card reading, I just want to thank each and every one of my subscribers. If you're not subscribing, I'm going to cry. I don't get it. Mm, please subscribe. I want to stay connected with you. Um, I love my audience on YouTube, and I also play these videos on my blog, and I also play these videos in my Facebook group. I love all of you, and you know I want to stay connected with you. So subscribe, follow, Let's keep it together, people. And also, thank you to my patrons on Patreon. As I've been saying lately, I don't put any ads up on these videos, people. I don't like ads. And I'm not into this whole market capitalist. I don't, no, I'm keeping it clear so I can speak to you uninterrupted and not harass you with ads. And in exchange for that, I ask for those of you who have it on your heart to support the work that I do, the majority of which is free, to go ahead and uh, consider contributing to me via Patreon. All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash Crystal Ann Compton. Don't forget the E. It's the E right there. Don't forget the E or else you're not going to find it. And even a dollar helps. So mahalo. I really appreciate my patrons, subscribers, followers, and friends. I love all of you very, very much. Okay, now let's get to today's three-card oracle card reading. What I'm going to do is I am going to hold up a card, one card at a time. We're going to do three. And you are going to connect with the cards. And you are going to observe yourself, your psychic receivers, which are your clairs, your claircognizance, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, and see if you resonate or align with any of the cards that you see. Again, you're not going to see the revealed card. You're just going to see if you feel something when I show you a card. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is trust yourself. If you feel a connection with the card, stay with that. Note it. Don't change your answer. Once again, the bane of the psychic person is doubt. It's uncertainty. Spirit gives us a message and then we immediately think, oh, that's just my imagination. Surely it's not spirit. And then we don't get the message. So don't doubt. Just go with what you feel when it comes in. Okay? Three cards, starting with the first card. Now, as I show you this card, I'm also going to look at it and telepathically pulse it out to you. I actually see this as a channel between myself and the world and anybody watching. And I'm just pulsing out telepathically the message of this card. So... Here it is, card number one. Card number one. Let me look at it. 
I'm going to read it and I'm going to send it to you. And you are going to determine whether you resonate with this card. Card number one. Card number one. Did you feel anything? What do you feel in your body? See anything in your mind's eye? Maybe you hear something. When spirit talks to us, it often comes through in our own voice. So it might sound like you, but actually be spirit. And you know it's spirit because there's a bit more of a resonance to it when it comes through. It feels more energetic. Maybe you feel something in your body. Card number one. This, by the way, is Archangel Michael. This is the... Archangel Michael Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. Link in the description. Okay, moving now to card number two. Card number two. Let me pulse this one out to you people. Card number two. How does this feel? You getting anything? How's it coming in? Notice that. If you can notice how it's coming in, then you will familiarize yourself with how spirit talks to you. Card number two. Last but never least. Card number three. Three. Pulsing it out to you. Hmm. How's it coming in? What are you feeling? Don't doubt. Just go with it. Trust it. All right. That was card number three. Very quickly, we'll run through them again. One. Two. And three. Now what I want you to do is drop down into the comments section and tell me which one resonates for you before you know the reveal, before you know the actual message, see what comes through because this is our trust exercise. <laughs> this is us saying, okay, I don't know what the message is yet. However, I'm going to trust that whatever I got is what I need. And so the message attached to the card is a message that I need to hear. So drop down into the comments section, please, and reveal what number you felt. All right, now for the reveal of the Oracle card. First and foremost, you are on the right path. So if there's a question about what you're doing, who you're with, where you're going, maybe you're thinking about starting a new university, taking a new course, getting into a new relationship, you are on the right path. Additionally, there's a prayer that is associated with this card. This prayer is to Archangel Michael, and it reads, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I can easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthy life choices. All right, now let's go to the book. You are on the right path. You've drawn this card as validation that your thoughts and your actions are in the right direction toward achieving your life's purpose and inner peace. You've been carefully listening to your guidance from within and the angels applaud you for following it faithfully. Although you may not clearly see what's up ahead, the angels want you to know that they're guiding and protecting you every step of the way. Keep up the good work. Possible specific meanings. It's a good time to begin a new project. Start a business, pick up a book, or make a positive lifestyle change. Listen to your inner guidance, even if others don't understand. Last but not least, 
Trust that you'll be financially supported as you move forward with your plans. Card number one, you're on the right path. Now onto card number two. For those of you who vibrated with, resonated with, card number two, you got let go of fear now. Not tomorrow, not next week, now. Let go of the fear. And the prayer associated with this is Archangel Michael, please help me to feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. The description in the book reads, let go of fear now. Archangel Michael says that fear is the only thing interfering with your happiness and your plans. He wants to show you how to release any worry or dread so you can feel safe and secure. This card indicates that you're ready to let go of control issues and trust that everything ultimately works out for the best possible specific meanings for this card. You're going in the right direction. You deserve all that is good, just as we all do. Allow yourself to receive love, support, and abundance. Last but not least, you are lovable. You are powerful. You got this. Let go of the fear now. That was card number two. Now, last but never. Not ever, not ever least, is card number three. Ready for it? Those of you who felt a little vibration with card number three. Energy healing work. I want you to see, can I see I'm gonna try to turn off this crazy light, it's so bright. (laughs) That's funny. Okay, that doesn't really help, does it? (laughs) Let me turn it back on. That made me laugh. Okay, well, anyway, there's a really pretty angel and there's a light coming from the top of the angel's head, which is the crown chakra area. And this is the energy healing work card. And the prayer associated with it is, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Let's read the actual book. The book says, this card signifies that your present situation would benefit from healing energy, which you can elicit from the angels, all you have to do is ask them, a qualified energy healer, or from your own intentions and energy. Possible specific meanings of this card. Take measures now to boost your energy and your vitality, such as exercising and eating healthfully. Also, enroll in an energy healing course. Also, book a session with a qualified energy healer. And last but not least, your life purpose may involve energy healing work. Card number three. Briefly recapping. Card number one, you're on the right path. Don't you worry about it. You got this. Card number two, let go of fear. Fear is oppositional to love and God is love. And if you want to live a life of love, which is a life of purpose, you've got to let that fear go. Now, last but not least, energy healing work. You may need a little energy healing or you may be destined to be an energy healer. Hmm, Put that bee in your bonnet. And there you have it. Our three card oracle card reading. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did, and I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.